Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be your do-it-yourself banner. And um, what I mean by banner, it's going to look something like this, something you hang up for birthday parties, bridal showers, baby showers, what have you. Um, the one I'm going to be doing is for a baby shower. The purpose of doing it yourself is that you can make it personalized, you can personalize it by putting the name, happy birthday to, congratulations, so-and-so, or you can put your own quirky little message. And then the colors, normally at the stores they're very generic, they're all kind of the same. Um, you can really tie it into your theme or color or pattern that you have going. What you need is you can do your own cutouts. I decided to just purchase these at Hobby Lobby. They're um, chipboard pendants and they were $3.99. But remember, anything at Hobby Lobby you can either get on sale or get the coupon on their website. So what it is is just cardboard. Um, but you can make this cutout yourself. I mean, if you want to make it smaller, they also have different sizes. And then you're going to use whatever um, you want to cover your pendants with. And what I mean by that is you can get cardstock. And this is cardstock. Um, they have solid colors or they have with prints. I decided to do prints. So, of course, running with the baby boy theme. And then the letterings. I just, you can purchase some um, stickers or you can cut out your own or if you have a Cricut. Um, I just went on my good old computer, typed the font that I wanted, um, printed them out, and then I cut them out myself. And I just cut it with regular scissors and then on the small tight corners, I use these small cuticle scissors which really come in handy for those tight corners. And then um, whatever you want to adhere your pendants together with, whatever you want it hanging on. Um, you could use ribbon. I'm going to use this twine, $3.99 um, at Hobby Lobby. They also had th thicker ones, thinner ones. Um, the ribbons are really cute. I just feel like mine's already going to be a little bit busy. And so I didn't want to, I wanted to kind of tone it down a little bit. And then <clears throat> what I'm going to adhere um, everything on, I'm going to use glue dots. Um, these are really great. I got the ultra thin. First of all, figure out what your message is going to be. Um, it's a boy. Um, I figured out I'm going to need 10 um, pennants. And so I printed out it's a boy, cut them out, and I have them all stored in here. Then I got my different cardstock. Some of them I'm going to repeat the patterns. And so all I did was I just used one as my template. laid it on, um, you know, did the, drew on it with a pencil, like outlined the pennant and made sure that I did the pencil mark on the back. That way it wouldn't um, I have to worry about seeing pencil marks on the pattern. And then you do all your cutouts, all my cutouts. And then what I did as well, um, there's these little holes. I also made sure to indent those holes on them um, to mark the holes in the back of my cutout. So you have all this. Second step is to adhere it. So you get your glue dot. I rip off each um, each of the little glue dot, paste it on here, and then you can see this is the easiest way. Instead of trying to peel them off from here, they're very thin, so they kind of can fold. But I just cut out the little paper, peel it off, and then there's your glue dot. So you don't have to worry about flipping it up. And then. Just put it on the three corners, lay my pennant, line it up. Don't press down until you have it where you want it. And there you go, there's your thick pennant. Then what I do is just get the small scissors. If you have a hole puncher, do that. I cannot find mine, so I'm just sticking a little hole then through the front of it, pushing through, and then make it my circle. So I'm gonna go do that to all my pennants, and then I'll be right back. I'm going to start adhering my letters to my pennants, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with this B. And I'm what I'm doing is I'm skipping right here. I have an H. Skip a pennant, and then we'll start here getting my little flat tape. Just I 
You can also use the glue dots on here. Um, just kind of, this is easier for me. Move on to the O. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this twine. I'm going to um, unravel it, get this in order, and then I'll show you how I weave it through and that way it can hang it for display. Measure your string, kind of estimate it, leave it real loose, and then what you're going to do is you're going to start. Let me You'll start at your end. Get your twine, feed it through the back, let all this loose. Then you're going to have to cut, and it's going to be a lot of feeding, but you do have to start at the end. And then you can either have it on the front, I, I don't want it exposed, so I'm going to start the first feeding through the back, run it through here, feed it through here, and pull it out, and then start my next one. Feed it through. Just make sure you watch it. Um, the twine, it can get loose and I have a little backup. There you, go this. And there you are. You're through with your first one. Then go all the way to the end. And start on your second to your last. What you have to do is string it along because tying them each at each end um, was kind of putting them too close together. And with this way, I have more flexibility to pull them or however I'm going to hang them and arrange them. So the only thing you just want to make sure is um, the first one you're going to feed it through the front. The, you know, the last pennant you're going to feed it from the front back so that the the twine hits the back. But on your second one, like the way you keep going, you pull it out and then you're gonna pull it in through the front. So you do that and then you just, that way you just wanna always ensure the burlap, or the burlap, the twine is in the back. So here you go, through the front, through the back and now I'm just going through the end. So I won't bore you with all this. I'm just gonna continue feeding it all. And there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.